Hi there, Jason Keith here from jasonkeithmedia.com. I um, wanted to make this quick video uh, this weekend to talk a little bit about a topic that any of us who use WordPress um, need to be thinking about all the time, and that's making sure that our sites are properly backed up and that we have an easy way to redeploy them in the case that you know our site gets hacked or something else goes wrong. Um, I know for, for my sites and for my client sites, this is always a concern, and I, I have bought just about every product on the market um, to date, and some of them I like better than others. Um, there's a new plugin that's coming out this coming Monday uh, that I'm very impressed with. I've had a chance to play around with it a little bit um, now, and I made a quick little demonstration video of exactly how it works. What I like about this plugin are a few things. First and foremost, it is a great backup plugin. You can set up, you know, one-time backups where you just log in and back it up, or you can set it up to schedule to, to back it up daily, weekly, monthly. You know, and of course, you, you want to back it up with more frequency depending on the content that you're backing up. If you have, you know, a blog with lots of posts and lots of comments and, and it's a really active site, you probably want to back it up daily. If you've got a site that maybe you only add a post once a week or something like that, then maybe it's, it's weekly or even monthly. Uh, a lot of client sites that I work with, uh, you know, if I'm building websites for dentists and doctors and lawyers and, and, and so forth, they don't have a lot of new content coming on their site, so a monthly backup is probably plenty. And in some cases, it might just be a one-off backup. But that's what I like about it first and foremost is the scheduling function because a couple of the bigger uh, plugins that are out there that I use frequently don't have a very good scheduled function or no scheduling function at all. The second piece I like about this so much is that not only can you schedule it, but you can remotely save the backup. So you can save it to Amazon S3. You can save it to a Dropbox account if you have it. You can save it to another hosting account or another remote server. Um, so th those are some really cool ways you can you can schedule it to back up to those sites automatically. So that's that's a really cool feature. Um, and then what's another cool feature um, is it also has the cloning. So things like WordPress Twin and some of the other great cloning products out there, this one does, but it's all within WordPress. It's a plugin. You're not having to use FileZilla or some other FTP server to you know to up upload a, a, a few files and such. Uh, for for anybody who's a you know intermediate to advanced user, that's no big deal. But if you're you know fairly new to working with websites, FTP software can be intimidating. And this software takes that out. All you got to do is install a plugin, activate it. There's a few settings to determine exactly how you want to do it. Go in, do your first backup, save it to your hard drive if you want to, and then you can go to another server and deploy it. But the, the cloning function is really cool. Here's how I use cloning. We, uh, you know, we we roll out new websites every week. Some of them for us, some of them for our clients. And but just about every website that we do, we have a you know a certain number of plugins and a certain number of themes and and permalinks and, and different settings that we like to set up the exact same way every time. And every time we do that, you know, there's an hour and a half to a couple hours worth of work there. Well, what we are able to do with this plugin is you know we can go in, we can build one site that way, clone it, save that clone, and now every time you know we we deploy a new website, we've got this cloned version that we can set up and we save you know an hour or two hours worth of work. And that's awesome. So um, anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at exactly how this plugin works. And it, uh, by the way, it does come out on Monday with a great special offer where you can get a, uh, a really good discounted price on that. I'll, I'll be sending you an email so that you'll know um, when it's available. Um, and if you don't have a backup or cloning um, system in place in your business, I highly recommend you check out this plugin because it's, it's a great value for the money. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at how it works and I'll be back in touch on Monday. Thanks. Okay, let's take a look at this plugin and see um, exactly how it operates. What you see here on your screen right now is a demo website. This is like a, a, a client website for like a dentist office or something like that. Um, we're going to show you in this video how we can back this up right now, um, how we could schedule backups for this, and then how we can deploy a cloned version of this in a, in a brand new WordPress installation. And where we might use that is if in a case our website you know crashed for some reason and we needed to move it to a new server, we could do that. Or if you you know build sites for clients or build sites in your own business and you want to quickly be able to deploy you know a a, a version of your website. Like for instance, we like to set up websites oftentimes with the exact same plugins and themes and settings. And so what we can do with this particular plugin is we can build a website up to a certain point, back it up or clone it, and then each time we install a new website, um, we can go ahead and set it up from exactly that point. So it's really, really cool. So let's take a look at the way this website or, or this particular plugin works. 
This is the plugin admin panel, the settings menu, and you can see it's real simple. There's not a whole lot of options you've got to choose from. By default, it's got a manual backup option that you can you know, download directly to your computer. It's also got functionality, functionality built in here for Amazon S3, so if you click on that, it adds some options down here for Amazon where you can get your Amazon key ID and secret access key and it'll save it straight to your Amazon S3 account. Same with Dropbox. If you have a Dropbox account, you can put in your app key and, and secret key, uh, your, your token, and it'll save it right to your Dropbox folder. So that's really cool. Or you can even, you know, for advanced users, if you want to set up your own local or remote server that you want to have scheduled backups go to, you can do that as well. I'm not going to go through all of these options in this particular video. Those are more for if you're setting up scheduled backups which scheduled backups are always important if you have a website that is constantly evolving or changing, if you're constantly adding a lot of content, so like a blog or something like that, that um, you're, you're constantly getting a lot of new posts on, new comments on, that sort of thing, and you want to make sure it's always backed up. If you're working with a lot of local clients who maybe once you set up their initial website and they have all of their, their pages and or posts on there and they don't change very often, it's not as vital at that point to um, you know have a, a reoccurring backup going because Chances are the way you set up the website originally is probably the same way it's going to be months or maybe even a year or more down the road. So, But if you do have a client website that they're adding updates and or you're adding updates to it, then you might even want to have a scheduled option in there. So this is the way uh, this works here. We can also, um, on the schedule piece of it here, you can choose the on-demand only, which is the, the current option, or you can schedule it daily, weekly, monthly, uh, however you want that to appear. And you can also put an email address in here where you want uh, so that you can be notified um, whenever these scheduled backups occur. You also have some control down here on what directories you want it to back up. You know, by default, it's going to get all the WordPress directories. If you don't want one of these for some reason, you can choose not to. If you have other directories on your site, uh, maybe that a plugin creates or, or an image folder or something that you want to make sure it backs up, you can put these on here one line at a time, just in the same format that they're showing here. And there's you know instructions and stuff. Uh, down here, it tells you a little bit to, um, to make sure once you install a plugin that your uh, server is compatible with it. And once you get all these green yeses, the plugin should work fine. So now that we've had a chance here to look at some of the settings, let's take a look here at exactly the way it works. All you have to do when you go over here to the backup and restore option, first thing you do is just click backup now. And it's going to begin the process here. It says backup scheduled. It should happen within the minute. I'll go ahead and pause this uh, video now and then I'll I'll come back and show you how we can download that. Um, well, actually it looks like right here it's starting. Uh, it, it's going to go through the process, tell us exactly how it's done. But again, I'm going to go ahead and pause it so you don't have to wait while it does this and I'll come back once it's resumed. Okay, we're back. It was about 30 seconds um, that it took here to do this. And you see you've got all these notations here that it backed up the database, it backed up the rest of the files, it uh, put in the manual backup option, uh, it completed the process, it sent the notification to my email address, and now it says backup is completed. And then all you got to do down here is click this button to download the backup, and it will save this to my computer. Oops, I was clicking the wrong button there. It's this one here. It's going to save that now uh, to my downloads folder, and it will be ready to install to the new site. So I'm going to pause this video now, go over to the new WordPress installation, and we will install it from there. Okay, I uh, am back now. We set up a test blog here. You can see this is just a brand new WordPress installation. Um, what we're going to do now is go over to the plugin. This is the, uh, the settings page again. We actually don't need to do anything on this page. Um, all you have to do is on the brand new WordPress installation is upload um, the backup plugin. Same exact one you uh, put on on the other one. Uh, but instead, this time, we're going to deploy from this. So we're going to go over here to the backup and restore tab. And we're going to go to this uh, option here to download or restore previous backup. And what we're going to do is upload the backup file, and you choose this from your hard drive. We're going to go to the Downloads folder, and the Backup folder, and it's got this particular file, which we put in here. 
and then we just click restore backup and it's going to take a few minutes to do it here and then what should happen is it should log us out of WordPress and when that happens we have to log in using the username and password from the previous site because it's just copy in um, the exact uh, site over that we had so um, I am gonna have to pause this video as soon as it happens and get that username and password so I'll be right back okay I believe I have the right username and password here let's log in now and we can see we're back it shows the plugin still we come back over here to the dashboard and I'm gonna click to go to the site and now you'll be able to tell that we have the site that looked exactly like our demo site. All the pages are set up, um, you know, all of the content. Uh, this is exactly what we found on the other site. So it, you know, it, it completely cloned the site from the other one in, in a matter of, you know, this entire video now is seven minutes long. And we have completely taken one site and moved it over to a brand new uh, installation, a brand new domain, or a brand new uh, you know server, and and set it up and deployed it. So this is a really quick and easy plugin. Um, you know, I've I've used the three major backup and uh, cloning plugins on the market, and you know this one's new, so you know there's there could be some things come out about it. But one thing I'm really impressed with is the simplicity of it. There's not a lot of extra options and things and I love the option to have this set up in autopilot mode where we set it up to back up to our Amazon or to a Dropbox account or to a to another server. So if you don't have any kind of backup um, or WordPress cloning uh, system in your business uh, I highly recommend checking this out. Um, you can get a, a unlimited license for really cheap. Um, this actually comes out, a special offer on this comes out on Monday to where it's going to be at a discounted price. And uh, I'll be sending you a link as soon as it's live, but wanted to show you this quick video over the weekend so that uh, you can see the power of this uh, cool little plugin. So that's it for today. Um, have a great weekend. Thanks.